I love you, Abby. I love you too, baby cakes. Let us pray. Good girls, how they feel? Hope you do that. Hi guys, welcome back to Wako's Review, the only reviewer that has cheated on his wife five times. And thanks to love, she's still with me. <laughs> Subscribe if you're new, like this video also, and roll intro. If you haven't seen episode 1 of this show, please go and watch it. But I'll give you a short recap. Abe, yeah, cheated on a man with her ex. Uh, Baba was shocked that she refused to marry him and cried from one eye. Condom babe ended a relationship that was not so strong by asking for condoms. <laughs> Condom, condom, condom. Give me the condom in your wallet now. You know me before. And that's why I've always said this. Do it wrong. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> please. Don't take my advice. Please. Episode 2 takes no time in continuing from where we left off. Agbaya was crying that she cheated on her husband to be. And she confessed to him finally. I slept with Kamal. Last night. Don't hit her. Don't hit her, please. Don't hit her. The cameras are on. <laughs> I'm joking. Jeez, guys, calm down. After this scene, we know nothing happened in terms of marriage that day. So we see her with who we we'll later on learn is her cousin. And her name is Tenny, the condom babe. You're my cousin. Mm? You're messing my mess. <laughs> Your stress is my stress. Where is that cap? Well, where is that cap? That's cap! But the issue here is Abu has refused to go home because she can't face her family after doing what she did. And I respect that, so she should cry in peace. But let's talk about other characters. First, we have this weird couple. In the first episode, we met this chick who changed her whole attire, her whole dress on her bike. And if you have friends who own like power bikes, I'm not talking about Bajaj or Baja. <laughs> this is a normal thing for them. Honestly, this is like their initiation for them. You need to be able to strip and wear your black jacket on top of your bike. But we find out that they are actually dating, but he is not ready to show the relationship online. And you know, until the relationship is online, it is not a real relationship, guys. And you can't blame him because he is 9 years older than her. When she was 7, he was 17. And you also can't blame him part 2 because she's not the smartest babe, she's a TikToker. And that's the worst type of babes to date. I'm not even lying, I'm saying the truth. She uses phrases like this. I'm so sick of this, like, no cap. It's better to just let it go, honestly, and that's on period, cause... Oh yes, remember the 7 and 17, I purposely did the wrong mass calculation, just so you'll be angry with me. I want to tell you guys, come and beat me. It's my channel. I live at Aja. If you leave your house now, you can fight me before 2041. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> then we have Tenny, the condom chick. She got the surprise visit from the man she ruined uh, in the very first episode. Well? So all you can say is well, after you and your village you ruined my life. You know me before. I found myself feeling for her because he wasn't smiling. But in the midst of fear, Baba heard the laugh. I don't even know what's funny. She kept making jokes about the condom scene. He then decides to call his girlfriend to clear this all out. But that's one of the biggest mistakes a man can ever make. You see, you can tell a girl three weeks ahead that you're going to be taking her on this certain date and she would magically still come late. You can imagine what will happen when it's impromptu. Get your beds, guys. You're going to be here for a very long time. The funny thing about this was that they started getting to know each other in a weird way. He thought she knew nothing about sports. Obviously, he was stereotyping her. A rookie move. <laughs> so they gambled. Name me Africa's three kings for 100k. <laughs> 100k? Nah. I answer your stupid question. You give me Bitcoin. Wait, how much is one Bitcoin in there? 16 million naira. Hmm, okay. <laughs> this is not going to end well. So we have Kamara Usman. Beat Tyron Woodley in March 2019. It took six, no, seven months for Israel Adesina to knock out Robert Whittaker for the title. Then we have my boy, Francis Ngannou, aka The Predator, knocked out Stipe Miochik for the heavyweight title. 
So you are the real fool. You are the real idiot. Eh? Eh? But if his life wasn't over already, Cinderella woke up. It's not Cinderella. Cinderella is the one that lost her shoe. Sleeping Beauty. What is Sleeping Beauty's real name? Guys. What is her real name? You, you know this. Rapunzel. I don't know what her name is, but this babe is scary. This scene felt uncomfortable, so kudos to the actor. It felt like this CD babe was about to get stabbed. They call condoms CD in Ibadan. Most of you already know this. <laughs> but after that, the episode ended with Abby begging her man who looked like he was about to kill himself. And that's how it ended, guys. This episode is better than the first because they established some people that I did not know anything about. Uh, this one was just like on an apology tour, so nothing really happened with Nagbaya. <laughs> but what I expect in future episodes is this. It's either he accepts her back, but he has to just strip her for the rest of her life, Hmm, that's not bad. Or he cheats on her and he calls the playing field. Speaking from experience, the second one doesn't sound bad. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off again, boss. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't